Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, I'll follow home. Golden, 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 golden things. Okay, so I am going to show you guys how to make the perfect drizzy today. So I've just got a couple of products here. I have some very coarse sand, and I will link all of these in my in the description below, so you can kind of see the how grainy that is. And then this is regular white. Uh, craft sand. And I don't use as much of this. There we go. There we go. And then I've also got a little bit of this opal glitter, and I'll make sure I link that as well. adds a little extra sparkle. There you go. And I have my epoxy that's already been mixed. I like to use stone coat countertops. Um, you want a long open time with your epoxy for this project. I find it, it makes your life a lot easier. And you don't need a lot. So I start with just a, a tiny little bit. And I mix and mix, and then we'll see where we're at. Okay, so that's what I'm looking for. This is a, if you've made pie crust it's or pastries where you have a crumb, this is where we're at. So if I squish it together, it stays together. But if I fluff it up, it stays crumbly. And that's exactly what I'm looking for. Okay? Okay, so I have my druzy. And I have my board on a silicone mat. I'm actually going to start this direction. You guys should still be able to see that. And kind of fluff your druzy up. And then start adding it where you want it. So this corner was the first place I, I knew that I for sure wanted druzy. There we go. So got some of it out. And kind of start. Playing with it there, kind of getting the shape the way you want it. Golden, golden, golden thing. Now remember to be careful. You don't want to smush it down because if you smush it down, then you lose that really nice effect of being kind of crystalline. So just working very gently with it. Gold hair, gold rings, gold leaves, gold anything, gold. I'll follow me, golden, golden, golden things.
feet step over splinters of the moon. Here we are the next day. I just want to show you guys. See how nicely that lifts up? And I know when I'm putting it down, it doesn't look stable, but this dry is really, really nice and firm. Um, my crystals are all nice and secure. I'm really happy with all this. There's a few of these little pieces that aren't quite glued down, but I'm not worried about that. A couple of little pieces here and there all flake off, but overall, this is very firm and I'm very happy with it. Welcome back. I'm working with a new camera angle, so I hope this works out. Let me know in the feedback below if you like this or not. Just want to show you where we are. So this has cured overnight. My druzy and crystals are all nice and, and firm. I did the gold hot glue, and now I have uh, done a tape dam here. And what I'm going to do is after I pour the epoxy, I'm going to let it sit for probably an hour, maybe an hour and a half, until it gets to a really thick stage. And then I'm going to pull the tape and allow the epoxy to 
roll over. But what that's going to do is help keep my uh, composition the way I want it without a ton of movement. So it was a little difficult going around these crystals. So I'm not 100% sure that this is going to work, but we'll see. And the other thing I wanted to show you are these cute little uh, levels that I got. And these are perfect for this sort of uh, work where maybe you don't have a large enough area to put a long level down. So this gives me an idea that my board is level and everything's going to kind of stay where I want it to be and not be really running one side or the other. And the other thing I don't think I talked about the other day is I have my whole board elevated on a big lazy Susan. So it makes it easier for me to get to different areas. Let's look at our colors. So here I have, okay, so let's look at our colors. Here I have Hakugan white from Eye Candy and that's just a beautiful shimmery white. I have my gilded gold also from, I'm sorry, Gilded Gold is from May Spring, and this is a nice floating gold. I have my uh, Satori White Paste, and then I added just a few drops of my gold epoxy into here to give it a little bit of an off-white. This is Latte from My Little Piggy, beautiful color. Kind of a uh, soft, peachy beige. And then this is a color that, oh my God, I'm just in love with. This is called Athena, and that is also by This Little Piggy. And it's a color shift, and it goes between kind of pink and gold. And I'm not even really a pink person, but I, I really like this. And this is the color that's also in my uh, crystals. That I okay, so I'm going to start with a dirty pour that are most is mostly my two whites. And I think I'm going to add a little bit of my gold into this. The gold needs to be mixed every time you use it. There we go. And top with a little more of the white. And then... I'm just going to do ever so slight of a stir here just to get a little bit of movement in there. Okay, I'm gonna start with the outside. I don't wanna go over my crystal. That's gonna fill in. Okay. One cup, I might need to mix a little more epoxy. I'm still figuring out how much I need for these geodes. So I'm going to do the same thing. Just a little bit of the gold. A little more white. Actually, I have some clear left over here. I might make more white up. And I think in this one, I'm going to add a little bit of the latte. And again, just ever so slight of a stir. Okay. I'm just going to use my fingers to kind of smoosh out this white a little bit to encourage it to kind of go into these areas where it isn't going to go, hasn't gone yet. Remember, epoxy always wants to go where epoxy has already been. There we go.
this one I'm going to do a bunch of the Athena in. I want more pink in this one. And just a drizzle of the gold over top is all I'm doing. I don't want the gold to take over in this one. So again, tiniest of stirs. Just a tiny bit of latte in there. Break up that pink just a little bit. Okay, last one. Actually, maybe I'm gonna. I don't want to hold this over there because I'm, I'm happy with this, so I don't want to cause any issues. So again, white, both of my whites. I'm going to add a little bit of all three of my colors, so it's a little mix. I'm going to just use up the Hakugan also. A little bit of spill over there not a big deal I can come back through later and refine these lines a little bit a little Italian drip yeah, and you can see these cells just opening up gorgeously Okay, so this has cured very nicely. I'm really, really happy with this. Uh, something I did off camera, and I'm sorry I didn't uh, film it, but I went through and I redid my gold lines here just to make sure they all looked kind of an even height. And then what I did is I very lightly and quickly took my uh, little torch over it to kind of melt it into what was below so it looks more uniform. I did get a little wonky here, um, so it's not perfect, but I'm okay with that. I can totally live with that. But what I did decide is that I wanted to fill this in. It just felt kind of awkward and asymmetric. I also decided I wanted to come a little further over here with it, and I got a paint splatter over here that I need to cover up, so I went ahead and made some more druzy. Oh, and I also put down some more glass here, and I'm going to sprinkle that. So just a little editing afterwards. I might throw in a couple of extra crystals, too. I haven't quite decided that yet. So here we are. I'm driving, you 